My name is Erin Reichert, and I'm the Undergraduate Coordinator for Environmental Health at Colorado State University. In environmental health, we are not so much concerned with the health of the environment as we are about how those environmental factors relate to human health and also animal health as well. And so we're concerned with things like air quality, water quality, mold, radiation, asbestos, foodborne illness, uh, diseases we can get from animals such as hantavirus and the plague and West Nile virus. So we're concerned with things like biological, chemical, and physical factors in our environment that can cause to disease, injury, illness uh, in human and animals. Some common job titles that you might find uh, with a degree in environmental health would be environmental health specialist, epidemiologist, toxicologist, industrial hygienist, consumer protection specialist, safety coordinator, uh, hazardous waste coordinator, uh, radiation safety officer, uh, asbestos and lead coordinator, and um, water quality or air quality manager. Uh, and so those are going to be the kinds of careers where we're protecting the public from those types of environmental factors uh, that are naturally occurring or man-made. The typical coursework you would encounter in an environmental health degree would be biology, chemistry, organic chemistry, physics, calculus, and statistics. And those are kind of the base for environmental health coursework. And then you would take courses in epidemiology, toxicology, water quality, air quality, environmental compliance, safety, radiation biology, industrial hygiene, and waste management would be the primary coursework. And then for the accredited environmental health programs, students will have an internship that's required for graduation. And these internships are a great way for students to get experience in the field and to find out which of the many areas within environmental health they'd like to go into. And so common internships are going to be, uh, on the public health side, we would see students going to their local and state health department or agencies uh, at the federal level, such as the CDC, USDA, the U.S. Public Health Service, uh, the Environmental Protection Agency, and the FDA. But also, there are plenty of opportunities with private companies, and those are commonly going to be in the manufacturing or construction environments, where they're going to be responsible for uh, industrial hygiene, uh, safety of the employees, the sustainability efforts of those companies, and also the environmental compliance to make sure that these organizations are doing their environmental due diligence and protecting the environment. And then we also see our graduates going on to consulting firms where they will work as environmental consultants, uh, commonly in air and water quality. And then also some students do have an interest in research, so we'll find them doing research in the fields of epidemiology, toxicology, industrial hygiene, uh, and radiation biology, along with other human and animal medical related fields. The advice I would have for someone considering a degree in environmental health would be to take as much biology, chemistry, math uh, as you can and really get comfortable with those subjects because they are the foundation for the coursework in environmental health. And I would also encourage you to get some leadership and experience with volunteering and being part of an organization and leading groups of people because environmental health is a very people-focused career field much more than you will find in many of the traditional sciences. And then finally, I would encourage you to go to the website for the Association of Environmental Health Academic Programs to find if one of the more than 40 programs are somewhere near you. And you can find that website at http www.aehap.org.